Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me on my website or YouTube channel for another card video. Today I'm sharing more quick and simple Christmas cards. So last week I did a video showing how to create a few quick and simple Christmas cards with minimal supplies. I'll be sure to link that at the end of this video for anyone who's interested. And as I was watching the playback of that video, I decided I wanted to create more cards using the same idea of keeping it simple with pattern papers and ephemera, but that I wanted to change the designs by using gatefold cards and die cut shapes. So the cards in this video are a bit different, however, they're still quick and simple. And I'm going to share a few tips along the way while I give you the process of creating one of these cards. Now you can create so many variations of this one card simply by changing the die cut shape, the pattern paper, and or the ephemera. So here's a quick look at the products I'm using during the video. I purchased several items from this adorable Christmas collection by Bella Boulevard called Santa Squad. And this is a brand new collection just released in September 2019. Here's a look at the 6x6 paper pad that has two each of 12 double-sided designs. The ephemera words pack that has 97 pieces full of holiday sentiments on banners, uh, different kinds of shapes, also speech bubbles. It's just full of a lot of holiday goodness. Next up, the ephemera's icon pack has 89 pieces and that's a lot of die cuts, but they're adorable. You get these adorable Santas, uh, hedgehogs, Christmas trees, reindeers nutcrackers, tags, labels, you name it, it's in that pack. I also picked up a few of the Bella Pops. These are dimensional stickers. Now I wanted to get the coordinating enamel dots, but they were out of stock. So I picked up some that were a close match. Now all of these items and everything else that I use throughout the video will be linked below and you can find those over on my website as well. So to get us started, I went ahead and took a piece of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock and I cut it in half. So I have five and a half by eight and a half inch pieces. Now this is going to be our gatefold cards and we're gonna take half of that um, and set it aside. Then the other half of that five and a half by eight and a half, we're gonna cut that again to create some card panels that are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to center up some dies and create some die cut shapes here. And it's going to give us the shapes we need for our gate folds, but it's also going to give me some pre-cut uh, card panels for shaker cards or window cards whenever I need them in the future. Now, gatefold cards are so easy to create. Do not let them stress you out. It's so very simple. Um, I have a one and a half by eight and a half inch wide piece of paper here, and I'm going to score it at two and a quarter inches and the other side at a two inch. So I'm creating what is called, or what I call, an offset gatefold. So here's a tip for you. If you remember that your gates have to equal the width of your card, you won't go wrong. You won't end up with that gap in between your gates. Uh, for example, if you have a four and a quarter inch wide card, the gates need to equal four and a quarter inches. So it doesn't matter if you score them at two and one eighth of an inch and keep equal gates, or if you score one gate at two inch and the other gate at two and a quarter inches, it still equals four and a quarter. So a simple thing to remember, gates equal width of card. All right, so now that we have our card base ready and we need to go ahead and cut that pattern paper to fit our gates, I always cut my paper to about 1 16th of an inch smaller than the gates and it gives me a small border around the paper. So I make sure to cut the paper so it continues, that pattern continues across the front of the card. Quick tip, go ahead and cut your pattern paper to the width that you need it and then stack the two pieces on top of each other so that when you go to cut the height of the pieces, they'll always be the same. And you won't have to worry about one being shorter than the other. Now, if you don't wanna hold them together, just use some removable adhesive to temporarily hold them while you cut them. I added some adhesive to the back of each panel using my ATG. 
I also make sure to keep that tape as close to the edge as possible and then adhering them that pattern paper to each of the gates. So again, I'm going to say it because this is, I'm a stickler for this and that's to make sure that that pattern is lined up across the front of that card. Now, if that's not a big deal to you, by all means, don't fret over it. It's just something that I'm a stickler about. So I'm using a teal and vellum heart to ground the scene and I know I'm using this adorable Santa. I use Gina K Connect glue to adhere the vellum to that teal cardstock. And I only put the glue where I know it can be hid behind that Santa. So I add 3D mounting foam to the Santa and I'm going to add him to that heart. Now this just adds some dimension and it allows me to adhere him securely to the heart. I decided to add some silver thread to one side of the heart. So I added double sided adhesive to the back of the heart like you see there. And then I take that thread and wrap it around my fingers. And then I just fan it out, loosen it up a little bit between my fingers and then lay it on the adhesive. Once I have it exactly where I want it, I'm going to go back and add some more double sided adhesive over it. And the reason that I do that is that I want to be sure that that heart is secured to that gate. Now make sure when you're adding that adhesive, you're only adding it on one side. If it overlaps to the other gate, it's going to tape your card shut. So next I'm going to pick a sentiment from the ephemera words pack and I'm going to add some square foam uh, adhesives to the back of it and then I'm going to place it over the bottom of the scooter. So I want to talk to you real quick about layering images. I used to have a real big problem with layering images over one another but I found by using the 3D foam it made it easier for me because it gives the illusion that one thing is just behind the other. I guess it's just a depth perception thing. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to add a few more details to this from the ephemera icon pack. I'm using a star and two of the presents from that pack. And then I'm going to finish off with some sequins. So these cards are really quick. They're super simple, but they are so cute. So now you can take this one idea and create multiple designs simply by changing up the pattern papers, the die cut shapes, and the ephemera. And here's a look at the three cards that I created. I really do love that little tin soldier and that nutcracker. So cute. So I'm giving away this pack of goodies over on my website. You just need to hop over there, leave a comment below. If you want to become a subscriber, that will be great. I would appreciate it, but you don't have to. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below that will take you right over there. Now this pack includes lots of square foam adhesives, uh, double sided, and also some permanent roller adhesive. Uh, you're going to get Bella Pops, you're going to get the ephemera words and icons pack plus that 6x6 paper pad. So just hop over to my website for all the details by clicking that first link in the description box below. I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired to head into your crafty space and create something amazing. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And if you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. I want to encourage you to leave any comments and suggestions below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts in one spot. And as always, you know how much I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.